Yesterday was the time to act on it. We need to start the conversation before it's too late. It is almost a meeting of the minds that we're having. Right now it's a moment in history where academia and government is singing from the same hymn book. And we're on the same page and we want to see things governed properly before we take the hands off the wheel literally and things go wrong. I love how diverse the guest list is and how diverse the topics are. We've got representatives from health and law, of course, but also from the government, from science, from industry stakeholders as well. And bringing all those people together and all those voices and perspectives together is what's really going to help us to develop really innovative solutions. I think what IP Osgood is doing is really quite exciting. One of the things that's interesting is if you ask a room full of people what AI is, you'll get a room full of answers. There are many AIs and there are many different thoughts about how we should design them. And I think the questions around design and potentially the governance constraints placed upon design are the crucial difference between a world where, where things go well and a world where things are problematic. Privacy, it's not just a fundamental human right, it is enormous societal value. It is the foundation of our freedom and liberty. If you don't have privacy specifically addressed as an area that must be developed, it's not going to happen. The focus will be on AI and the technologies, all the amazing machine learning activities, which I applaud. Let's factor in privacy into that. People often think that regulation is bad for innovation, but often what regulation does provide is clear lines for institutions and individuals to see what they can and can't do. To me, the way that I think about it in the context of the ethical and social and legal implications of AI, what we're starting to see is that the AI is getting sufficiently sophisticated that it's starting to blur the distinction between actor and instrument. And now we're starting to see that AI can take on a kind of agency. And as soon as we can start to think of a data-driven agency that operates independent of human interaction or oversight, all of a sudden we see there's a whole host of new issues that just blow everything wide open. We need to be having this conversation today so that we have an opportunity to contribute to the development of standards and regulations so that as this technology is implemented, the Canadian perspective is included in those regulations. It is all doable. We just have to get the interest in preserving our privacy now and well into the future so that our children, our grandchildren, can enjoy the privacy we enjoy now and the freedom that we have. The earlier we can start to craft solutions and think about governance, the more we're going to get it right. It's a journey that we're on and this is the beginning of it.